exhibition opens today at the Kent State University Museum. It's called Textures, the History and Art of Black Hair. Our Tanisha Cordell sharing why the exploration of black hair is important and holds a complex place in the history of African American life and culture. For as long as she can remember. This topic has been, you know, an issue for over 400 years, you know, ever since there was colonization. Black hair has always faced scrutiny and discrimination. I was a freshman in college and I went to work for an amusement park. And one of the things that I noticed was that in their dress code, they had listed all of the hairstyles that you could not wear. And pretty much all of those hairstyles were black hairstyles. The experience triggering for Dr. Tamika Ellington. What is the disdain with black hair? Why is overall society, you know, have this disdain? Why does the black culture within itself have a disdain for black hair? Those questions fueling 20 years of research with her peer. These stories, they cross cultures. And I think that's Absolutely. what really drew drew me to the project. And now a new exhibition at Kent State University, Textures, the History and Art of Black Hair. I am Asian American. I do not have black hair, but it doesn't mean I don't have something to learn from the topic or I don't have something to add to the conversation or I don't have a responsibility to understand where it fits in society or where it hasn't. The exhibition curated from themes like community and memory, hair politics, and black joy. It has 180 paintings, sculptures, hair artifacts, photographs, advertisements, magazine covers, hair products, and other media. This isn't, you know, hair is just one part of the black experience of discrimination in this country. But what I think what we wanted to do was make sure we told the story in a larger setting. Those stories told by black artists, barbers, hairstylists here in Northeast Ohio. Their interviews featured in a digital green book. So it was, it was really important for us to have a community connection with, with all of this. A connection that could help mend past experiences and spark change for generations to come. This isn't just for you know, a certain population to come to the museum. This one's actually for everyone to come and gain understanding. Tanisha Cordell, News 5.